Neymar could be one to watch in the next weeks and months, but the reality, as of today, is that nothing is advanced with any club. We have to wait and see. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Neymar Jr., something of Mauricio Pochettino and his direction for Chelsea, but also Sofian Amrabat, Rasmus Oilund. Let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, let me start today with uh, Neymar Jr. because we are having many and many rumors about the Brazilian star in the last few days. Someone spoke about Barcelona after the deal collapsed for Leo Messi. They said that Neymar could be an option for Barcelona and the link is normal because the agent of Neymar, Pini Zahavi, one of the biggest agents in the world, has a fantastic relationship with Barcelona president Juan Laporta, but at the moment there is absolutely nothing and also Xavi was very clear in saying that Barcelona have different priorities, so no talks for Neymar Jr. at this point. Same happening with Manchester United. For May United, with the current ownership, the Glazers, there are no negotiations ongoing for Neymar. Let's see if they will change the ownership, but with the current owners there is no plan to go for Neymar Jr. Also important to say that for Paris Saint-Germain they are looking for a solution for Neymar. Internally they already discussed his exit, so Neymar could be one to watch in the next weeks and months, but the reality as of today is that nothing is advanced with any club. We have to wait and see what happens. And discussing about Chelsea, guys, I wanted to tell you something behind the scenes about a situation at Chelsea regarding Manuel Ugarte, because it's not official yet, but the contracts are signed. Manuel Ugarte will be Paris Saint-Germain player. But I can tell you that uh, almost one week ago, when uh, Chelsea were close to signing Manuel Ugarte, then PSG returned into the deal and reached an agreement with the player, I can tell you that Mauricio Pochettino was always uh, involved in the conversation with Chelsea board. Of course, Pochettino will be into the market this summer together with the board. And also Pochettino, when Chelsea told him, we are not going to make another bid to the player because the idea is not to match Paris Saint-Germain salary proposal to Ugarte. Also, the position of Mauricio Pochettino was like, OK, Ugarte is a great player, but we don't want to enter into any crazy proposal to players especially. Why? Mauricio Pochettino has great experience and he knows that when sometimes you go uh, over the value of some players, you have the risk of creating some problems uh, internally in terms of salaries and these kind of things. So Pochettino also suggested not to do any madness in general on the market and in this case for Ugarte. Paris Saint-Germain are very happy because they believe they signed a fantastic player in a very difficult situation, but Chelsea decided to go for a different kind of way in this case, also thanks to the suggestion of Mauricio Pochettino. And guys, also mentioned uh, the situation of Chelsea, Chelsea and May United. These two clubs were interested in Sofian Amrabat in January. The most interested club was Barcelona, but we know it was impossible for Barca to proceed. And also for United and Chelsea, because Fiorentina on deadline day decided not to approve any loan deal for Sofian Amrabat. But let me say that there is a lot of interest into this player, Sofian Amrabat. It's true that Barca Bayern have, a, have an interest, but the priority of the player is La Liga, is Spanish League or Premier League also really attracting to him, but La Liga is the priority uh, with uh, Barcelona or let's see if Atletico Madrid will return into the race. Mentioning Premier League, let's see what happens with Chelsea and Man United because these two clubs were in contact with his agents in January. Let's see if they will return into this conversation. And then Rasmus Hoylund. Guys, I told you one week ago in a video here on the channel on YouTube that Man United are well informed on the conditions of the deal for Hoylund and I can confirm that now Man United have all the conditions of the deal, so how much it takes to sign Hoylund this summer. And they also know that the player would be very keen on the move. So May United have that option in mind and that option in the list. At the moment, they have different priorities, but Hoylund is a name they have in the list. Chelsea sent their scouts to monitor the player uh, multiple times in the last few months. So let's see what happens with Hoylund, but it's another interesting situation for the next weeks on the transfer market. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, Chelsea with uh, this Manuel Ugarte situation. He's joining PSG, but also Hoylund, Amrabat, Neymar Jr. Where do you see his future? Pick the club here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and see you soon. Bye -bye.